Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Yesterday I, uh, I posted a video of uh, an ultrasonic servo motor based sentry, and uh, what it did, this uh, basically does, or what it did yesterday was uh, it took steps back and forth, pivoting on the servo motor, and it, it, uh, it was taking samples, averaging, and then taking another 30 samples per step to see if something had breached that average. And uh, I've changed it up a bit. Um, what I've done is I've made it so that the servo takes very, very small steps very fast. So uh, it swivels back and forth relatively quickly. And if anything um, comes within uh, a distance of closer than 40 centimeters, and I can change that value with ease, uh, then this LED will continue blinking. The motor will stop as long as uh, the breach remains. So I'm going to power it up. And there it goes. I'm uh, probably about a meter back from it, and uh, it works flawlessly. It just goes back and forth. Uh, the range of uh, swivel is about uh, 160 degrees. So now, if I stick my hand in front of it, the LED will continue to flash until I remove my hand or whatever breaches it. Now, you can use that signal to do whatever you want. You can uh, activate an alarm, communicate with another microcontroller. I can use the remaining GPIO pins on this AppMega328P to do other things, but I just, I just, uh, I wasn't satisfied with the function of yesterday's product. So I decided to revamp the software, which I just did this morning with my Tim Hortons coffee. Move my hand. Now if you make a quick breach, So there you have it. Uh, works a lot better than it did yesterday. Completely different program, surprisingly. Uh, it, this program is actually much less complicated, but uh, I'm very happy with it. It was really just something I put together for fun, but I might consider putting this, um, turning this into kind of a science project. Not uh, a product that I make a custom PCB for, but maybe something that students might be interested in uh, if they had the schematic, all of the parts, and the uh, Arduino code for the Atmega 328P. But I just wanted to share, uh, I, I, uh, you know, I spent time on it. I know I'll probably disassemble it and use it for parts at one point or another. So I like to document my projects just so that if I ever feel like it, I can go back and say, oh, yeah, I did that. So anyway, check us out at engineeringshock.com, electroniclessons.com, and paintballprops.com. All of the links are below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.